Tonight, if you don't have a crown, I want you to get one. If you've lost your crown, I want you to get it back. And if you have a crown, tonight I want you to determine in your heart to not let anyone take it from you. How many have understood the message up to this point? I thought so. Now let me tell you why I'm preaching this. I'm going to show you something that's going to happen to Steve Hill. It can happen to you. This is I'm determined for this to happen to Steve Hill. I want you to play that softly in the background, brother. Put the lights out. There's coming a day where Steve Hill will stand before the Lord. It might be tonight. I'll stand before Jesus Christ. When I stand before him, it's coronation day. It's my time of reward. See, I know this is coming. I know it's coming, so pastors, I'm preparing for it. I'm getting ready right now. You know it's coming. You better get ready for it. God has spoken to us and has mandated me to try to reach millions of people with the gospel in the next year. I will not refuse Jesus Christ because I will stand before him one day. And when I do, this is what's gonna happen. I will stand in line. Great names through history will be called out. D.L. Moody, Jonathan Edwards, Keith Green, Rich Mullins, Smith Wigglesworth, William Seymour of the great Azusa Street Revival, John Wesley, would you come? Charles Finney, would you come? Rachel Scott, would you come? And this is what I want to happen. I want to hear my name. It's just me and Jesus. Just me and Jesus. And I want to hear a holy hush in heaven as my name is called. And here's what I want to hear. I want to hear angels going, oh my, look at that. I've never seen anything like it. Look at the beauty of it. It's gorgeous. I want an angel to come. And I want him to set a crown before me. And I want my crown to be laden with precious stone, with diamonds and emeralds, with platinum and gold and silver. I want it to be the most beautiful creation heaven has ever manufactured. And I want it to be picked up. And I want the angels to turn it I want Elijah to see it. I want Paul to see it. I want Rich Mullins to see it. I want John Kilpatrick. I want the steering committee here. I want everyone to look at it. It's all gonna be, we're gonna all have a turn. We're gonna, this is just my turn. This is my one 
big chance. Jesus had warned me, Steve, don't let anyone take your crown. And I was faithful. Nobody took it. It was waiting for me up there. All the hard work, all the evangelism, all the prayers, all the Bible study, all the devotion, all the giving of myself to Jesus. It was all worth it. I'm standing before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and it's Coronation Day. You listen up at home. This is going to happen to you. This song that's being played is called Crown Him With Many Crowns. My dream, young people, is that Jesus Christ on this generation, the generation that's alive today, when this generation is called forward on Coronation Day, that there would be a pile of crowns in front of Jesus unlike he's ever seen before. It rivals the greatest revivals in history. And I want to see Cassie Bernal cast down her crown. I want to see Rachel Scott cast down her crown. I want to see Wesley. I want to see Whitfield. I want to see you, 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 you casting down your crown. This is what's going to happen to me. Watch. I'm going to kneel. My name's been called. It's over. There is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. The Bible says in the book of Revelation that they were casting down their crowns before him. I'm going to kneel before Jesus and he's going to pick up the crown and he's going to say, Steve, you were faithful. Take this. And as he places it on my head, I want to push it off. He's going to push it back on, and I'm going to push it off. Jesus is going to push it back on, and I'm going to push it off. And I'm going to say, Jesus, as I grab the crown, please understand me, Lord, that I honor, I honor the fact that you've given me this beautiful crown. But Jesus, if it wasn't for you, there would be no salvation. If it wasn't for you, there would be no eternal life. If it wasn't for you, I would still be a drug addict. If it wasn't for you, I would have died in my sins. Jesus, if it wasn't for you, there would have been no Brownsville revival. If it wasn't for you, there would be no Awake America in Little Rock. Jesus, worthy, 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 and I want to throw it at his feet. I want something of value to throw at the Lord's feet. I don't want a paper crown. I don't want a worthless piece of paper. I want a jewel crown. I want a precious crown, something that says at least he did something for God.